Howdy folks, Tom here with Laser Engraved Solutions, and today's video is going to be a very simple, easy one. I usually get my video ideas from uh, what people are saying they need help with on the Facebook forums, and uh, this one keeps coming up. This is about uh, importing a image and tracing it with the trace image feature in Lightburn. And to give you an engravable uh, vector. So let's go to Lightburn and start. Okay, so we're here in Lightburn. We're going to import an image. So we're going to go right up here to import. And we're going to take this JPEG. And we're going to import that. So now we can tell this is an image. If you look over here, it says it's an image. And we want to make this a vector. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it. Go down here to trace image. And now you can see that we've got these pinkish purple lines. And we can zoom in and we're missing a bunch of the lines around the stars. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add until we get, so now we have all the stars and I'm just using my scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in. So that looks pretty good there. Um, there's no other spots that we need to clean up. Maybe up here. What's this look like up here? Looks like we're missing some of that up there, too. So we're pretty much completely full. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we've got everything that we want. And we're going to just click OK. All right, now this gave us this square all the way around it that we don't really want. So we're going to ungroup it. Right now everything is grouped. So we're going to go up here. And we're going to ungroup the selection. Okay, now you can see everything is uh, moving, rotating. Um, so we're going to click off of it. And now I'm just going to click just that, the outline. And I'm going to hit delete. And that deleted it from our image. So now we're going to select all and we'll regroup this again. We're going to group that so that all everything moves with it. If we were to do it any other way, if we did not group it, we'd try to move it and everything would separate and we would have a mess. So now you can resize this. You can save it. But we can also import it into an art library. So let's click the art library. I'm going to go to where I store my art libraries. And I'm going to call this one Flags. And it'll name it L-B-A-R-T. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we're in the Flags art library. I'm going to select everything. And now you can see down here that import from graphic or import graphic from project is available now. It's not grayed out like add graphic to project is. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to ask me for a name and I'm going to call it distressed flag and click OK. So now you can see it added it to our art library. Now, anytime we want to use this distressed flag, I'm going to go ahead and save this Lightburn file. Save as. I'm going to save it as just in case I ever need it again. I'll keep it saved. And now let's go to a new All right, so now we have a new document. 
and we want to use the distressed flag. Now you can click it, you can double click it and it'll put it in there or you can go down here to the add graphic to the project. And then there it is. And now we can manipulate it however we want, size it however we want. You can rotate it again as it's, we can even flip this horizontally and put the stars on the other side. Arrange, we want to flip horizontal. So we can pretty much manipulate however we want. And then if we want to add another one, you can just add another one to your project. So that helps you with the art library a little bit, but it also helps you with importing an image into Lightburn and making it a vector. There's other ways of doing it. You can take and use any of the free online uh, sources or services that uh, allow you to make SVG graphics and you can import an SVG. But Lightburn is very capable at making your vectors for you and you won't have to pay anyone. You won't have to do it yourself uh, or do it with an outside source. It's, uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good program, pretty good way to create vectors and get them so they're usable for you. So I hope this helps you. And here's to tracing more images. <music>